Hi, I'm Heather Roy. Hi, I'm Laura Brown. Hi, I'm Sean Carthew. Hi, I'm Wendy Cap. Hi, I'm Lee Higginson. Who's that one of the Collaborative Artist Residency? There we go. <laughs> we each got a panel, and then we would put our mark on it, and then we'd pass it over to the next person. They put their mark on it, and then it mm -hmm. evolved into what you see behind it. Mm -hmm. For me, when we were talking about, it, is there a theme? Like, is there an overarching theme? Like, I mm -hmm. loved the starting point because it was the idea of all of us being trapped in our own bubbles during COVID yeah. and then coming out. And like, this exact process is the response to the joy of not having to be like that. We kind of come in with this idea of what we want mm -hmm. to wow. happen on yeah. canvas. And then, yeah, you start throwing words, you start throwing spray paint, you start throwing some other things on there and then, oh, Okay, I have to react to this. I, yeah. I don't have a choice. Yeah. I did constantly bring into question the idea of ego in art. And, you know, you can say you're collaborative, but it's something to watch somebody go along and take your panel and like slap new paint <laughs> on top of what you're done. It's an outright challenge. We are starting on a brand new canvas. And at this point, lots of hands have touched all these different canvases. Honestly, it was a struggle for me the whole way through. Like mm -hmm. when you're creating a play, you know, I write it and there's a director and the actors, everybody makes it better. And it's kind of what happened here. I put something on the page and everybody adds their layers to it. I don't know why it's such a hard time with it. It can really relate to that. Mm -hmm. In some ways it's the same process. I think it's just like putting something on the canvas was so foreign to me. It's pretty tough to just get in there and embrace it. Yeah, I was like, oh, there's a crayon. I could use a crayon. <laughs> <laughs> I loved what he did with my piece, the script that he wrote from the images that I had selected and brought it all together. I was more visual. Some of the images was like, well, like that, but it's the colors, you know, I had a theme going, but for him to take those, those all those images and to make a story of it was, something I didn't expect at all. So with Heather's, I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna write on bark or script or paper. I'm gonna do it right on the painting. <laughs> oh, so bold. And I grabbed a pen. A Sharpie. A Sharpie, which I wasn't supposed to use. And then I had to fix it by putting paper on over. But I did like what I said. I will not mm -hmm. tread I love water. Mm -hmm. I like that. Sometimes in the art world, you make a mistake. <laughs> and those mistakes are a blessing. And you roll with it. Being physically in the same room with people while they're painting stuff too. Mm -hmm. it's, and you get to bounce off ideas or just... Absolutely. Yeah. And just talking is, is a huge element. We all kind of quickly thought, well, let's be safe about this. You find the norm, right? It, and, and it unfolds very quickly depending on the chronology of the group, right? I think that's what happened here. I think it was week five. Is that, uh, it was like, a week off, wasn't it? It was, there was a week off in there and I saw how this kind of roll up by social media. <laughs> there was a post saying, you know, Da, da, da. something has happened to the panels. I hope you're ready for it. And saw Sean down in the park and we literally came marching up and Sean had been helping me with a physical panel down there and had a hammer in his hands. So we looked more threatening than we meant to when we <laughs> arrived here to check out what the disruptor had done. But indeed, this mystery artist had come in and added, um, I mean, I would say the most disruptive elements in a lot of ways across the board, just because it was a complete launch into a different color palette and a different yeah. way Arrested. This collaboration needed an art alert. So I just decided to come in and, you know, stir things up a little bit. When I first saw the paintings, I thought, they're getting a little comfortable. There were some parts of the paintings I wanted to connect together. They were all working in certain color palettes. I wanted to bring in a different color palette. If a piece had a lot of blue, maybe I'd bring in a bright pink or a yellow. My role was to help them let go, to be better collaborators. I tried to leave as little evidence as possible, but there were still a few signs that I'd been there. What's going to be interesting about showing this work is that, in theory, the panel we started will have our own personal art beside it. But I don't feel ownership 
of my panel mm -hmm. or yeah. any of the panels. And so in some ways it feels very free compared to when you do a show of your own work yeah. and hang your own things on the wall mm -hmm. because there's nobody to distract from it if people are like, that stinks. Yeah. <laughs> right? It's such an amazing idea for art groups, for family gatherings or girls' nights or anything. Let's make something together. A real bonding experience. <laughs> Getting to know people better as well. Especially for sure. being so close enough. Yeah. For what? Yeah, and a half, three years. Yes. In your own studio, you're a bit like a mushroom, you know? The light's not getting <laughs> yeah. in, and working together is more like being in a garden.